almost run out the house in my underwear. I almost forgot to get dressed. This deal's so good. Three Kimco 90s, 500 bucks. We're going to pick them up. We're going to bring them home. Going to get them tuned up, ride them a little bit. I wish I still had the Raptor 90 and the TRX 90, but hell, these will be fun enough to ride. And it's summertime, so you know some kid's going to want them. Some kid's going to need them. Running out to Alito, Texas. Found these on Facebook. Pretty good deal, dudes. Three for the price of a half of one. Three automatic with reverse. Let's go and see how they run. So this is where I'm at, boys. I just test started all three of them. They all start. Um, this one and this one both sound like they need some exhaust bolts there at the header. The exhaust is leaking pretty bad. It's pretty loud. Um, I'm going to pull the carburetor off of that one and the blue one and clean them. Get, the, get them both washed. Get the carburetors cleaned get them ready to list then I'm gonna work on this one so we got this battery out we're gonna take the other one out get them both charged get the carbs off of both of them power wash both of them and reassemble so these carburetors are kind of a pain in my ass to get off because I didn't want to take all the plastic off that four-wheeler but I got them both off we're gonna clean them they're dirty as you can see there there's about a half water half dirt half deteriorated carb mixture and that ain't gonna run so while we got the carb soaking this one was making extra noise you can see why one of the header bolts is out and then the nuts off the stud came out with the nut on it we'll just have to fix it put her in forward all right go easy buddy run good nice you like it yeah. I am C. so we got the one done we're gonna let that carb soak uh, overnight again or overnight, not again. One of the batteries charged up. Um, and tomorrow we'll finish and we'll clean up this one. Put the carb on it. We'll clean up this one. Put all the plastic and the shifter and stuff back on it. This should be good to go too. Got three for one, dudes. Hit me up if you're looking at one of these two. I think this one's gone. So I've got the walnuts off. Looks like some pretty green gas. Let's see what we get here that one all finished up this one belongs to this quad i'm gonna put it on clean it up put them both back on fix the exhaust on this bring them over here stand them both up wash underneath them wash all over them set them down wash on top of them then fill them up with gas and uh batteries Stuck on it, right? tap, tap. so what i did oh gnarly <laughs> barnacles well, we're gonna get her clean. The other ones may have been about the same. Uh, yesterday, I sold the other orange one, but I went ahead, ended up taking the idle jet. I was able to get clear out of this one. I, basically what I did was I used, I used the parts I was able to get clean for the other quad, and then I let these ones soak overnight because they were so bad. And we're probably gonna do the same thing with these, but we'll see. Now this is after I have attempted to clean this bad boy many times. You can see that jet's completely clogged with green gasoline that you can't really push out or spray out, not even with the 150 PSI. So I've got my bowl. I just keep soaking it. I bring it out, clean it a little more, hit it with this some more, hit it with more compressed air. Once I get it pretty close to where I've got all the stuff brushed off of it, I can. I whip this bad boy out and we go internal at spinal we go internal we go internal and uh try and burn out 
all the gunk that's in that some bitch. I got the needle cleaned. I'd say the carb body's definitely serviceable now. We got it cleaned up pretty good. Same thing, as you can see, there, it's dripping out. Because what I'll do is I'll go back and forth between carb spray and air compressed air, but I always finish with carb spray so that it'll sit and it'll do work, son. It's sitting in that carb right now doing work. Don't finish with the air because then it's not getting cleaner while it sits there. Both of these things, I like to call it soaking. It's like if you're gonna do the dishes, like Jim, you just let them soak. Who knows what show that's from? You gonna wash, you gonna clean that carburetor or you just gonna let it soak? As you can see, it's drawing the stuff out as I heat it. It's not sticking out beyond the tip now. Get a little hot as it. It's burning the stuff and then pulling it out as well. See there? I'm gonna hit it with the compressor. It's hot some bitch, old boys. Trying to get this to burn out of here. See that? Anything is turning red, that's usually old gunk. We don't get it cleared out. All right, go for it. Just like that red one, buddy, or the orange one. Go for it. two down I got the carb clean on the other orange one I'm gonna have to put it put it back on tomorrow put all the plastics back on shifter back on fix the exhaust that should be a solid three of three Go park it. Mom don't want you riding it without a helmet. Turn it off with the key, okay? All right, number three. Well, I got the carb clean. I'm gonna put it back on. Charge up a battery. Wash it really well. Then reassemble all of this stuff he took apart. And uh, get it listed for sale. Sold the other two already. I realize the fan's making the audio bad, but it's either that or I'll die. So I've got the fan on, this is Texas. The shifter bolt's on there. It's gonna link between here and the gearbox. And this is gonna go over it. Then the plastic fenders and this little linkage, I assume, goes between the two. So we're gonna get all this done. Drain the gas, wash it, lube the chain. Make sure the tires are good. Get her listed for sale, boys. Got that hooked up. If you ever have to adjust one because it won't shift, it's right there. Just like a tie rod. Perfect. All right, last one left. We're gonna rock a one-handed demo on this one. Key on, pulling the brake, push start button, reverse. two of them and the bees were sexing on this one this one over here they weren't sexing on you as much i mean damn they wouldn't even grind on this one hardly they had like oh, I'll go down. that's why you test ride them i'm gonna flip y'all I'm only capable of using front brakes at this point on the time.
was a solid 16, 17 miles an hour through there. Can't touch this. Skirt. One handed, no back braking. All this three wheeler body English. Look how wide I get. Oh, nice. to be moving a little Oops. oh dudes it's summertime hottest part of the year out here in texas it's been 103 days in a row so i'm waiting on some custom fittings for this radiator setup on this thing and i need to figure out what i'm doing for a gas tank then you guys are getting your bw 200 banshee build these chemcos i got one left you buy them for 500 bucks all three so get three grand out of all three of them. Only had to buy one battery. That's coming up too. Just been busy in this bad boy right here. I just got the wheel hub and got it slapped on for this bad boy. But now I need some lug nuts. So I'm waiting on them. I got a new carburetor today and a new intake because that one's cracked. I should be riding this bad boy in the next day or two. Polaris Sportsman 500 golf cart, dudes. Here, let me give you a better look at it. Maybe this side will sell it to you. Maybe this side. Oh. Oh. 